So, my little babies, I'm making another video because I wanted to, I wanted to make another video today and I'm feeling very good, I'm feeling very happy about myself today. Ha <laughs> ha! Why? Well, because basically it's been a good day. So this is month two, I think I've been like updating my videos in my recovery from my breakdown in August. This isn't my first breakdown either, this is like my eighth breakdown. <laughs> This is like my eighth breakdown or something like that over my lifetime. And, um, yeah, it's like very fucking difficult. I am the breakdown. So anyway, today I'm feeling a little bit better. I, I, I uploaded a video earlier and again, like I know like, People aren't kind of watching, but sort of nobody's watching. But at the same time, I have got a couple of subscribers. And so I'm kind of putting this video out for them, for you, I mean, and for me, and for anybody that might find this in the future as a resource to coping with, you know, um, internet bullying or just bullying in general. Um, you know, sometimes things can seem bleak. Sometimes things can seem hopeless, and in my life, I've I've reached that point so many times. So this is a this is month two of my breakdown and recovery. Um and um yeah, I'm I'm feeling today. I'm feeling quite good. I um it's difficult to sort of put into words how you feel when you're being attacked mentally. Um, you know, like with cyberbullying, for example, I'll put on my American accent. For cyberbullying, Amer um, <laughs> it's difficult. Cyberbullying is mental abuse. It's mental. And it can be very difficult to work through it can it's also um it's different from physical abuse or emotional abuse because physical and emotional abuse you've really got to be in the vicinity of the actual person to actually facilitate that kind of abuse so it's mental abuse mental abuse okay so I thought that I would do some of the stuff that I like to do, which is I want to make videos, and I love this book. This is the book of everything. This is my favourite book. And so I've got ten minutes, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my big book of everything, <laughs> and I'm going to randomly open it, because it's fucking huge. It's about, how many pages is it? It's about a thousand... 1,205 pages long. No, it's not a, like a readable book. It's, it's an index. And um, I'm going to randomly open it. And we're going to see what it opens up on. So. There. Oh, okay. It opened up on a map. This is the map of... I think it's the world... Yeah, it's the world. So, it's an atlas of the world. How cool is that? And the world is uh, Europe, Great Britain and Ireland, Western Europe, Northern and Central Europe, Southern Eastern Europe, Asia, Indian and Farther India, China and Japan, Africa, North America, Canada, the United States, South America, and Oceania. Now, <laughs> anybody who's read 1984 knows Oceania is a fictional place, but in this book, it's real. <laughs> Just like we're living in the world of 84. Oceania, this map is de uh, delineated on... Mercator's projection and shows the Pacific Ocean 
with its many islands, the Australian Commonwealth and New Zealand are included, and that is Oceania. And Australia and New Zealand are um, also included. And so this is the a, 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 a map of the world as written when this was published in um, 19... Fuck. 19 fuck. It was, it was published in 19 fuck. I don't know when it was published. It's one of these books that's so old. It's older than me. It's so old. <laughs> it's so old. It's actually got pounds, shillings and pence and a table to be able to calculate pounds, shillings and pence. And if you don't know what pounds, shillings and pence are, then you're too young to talk to me. And you've got to go away. If you do know what pounds, shillings and pence are, and you used them in your hand, and you were like, I remember shillings, I used to earn two shillings a day when, you, when I was like doing my paper round. You're old. You're an old person. Um... Yeah, I'm like middle age, having a middle age breakdown crisis. Anyway, let's ran. Um, we randomly opened it onto this map, didn't we? It's a pretty intensive uh, map. Look at this. It's it's not just this. Yeah, flip the page. Boom! Look at this. It's so amazing. Boom! Look at this. So amazing. That's a map of uh, England. Ah, cool, isn't it? A map of the world. I love books like this. These are, these are the books that I love. Wah, wah, wah. I'm, I'm playing my violin of the world. See, look at that. That's America. That's where you live, probably. And that's South America. And that's Australia. Isn't that great? It's an amazing book. I love this book so much. Um, let's open it again. Oh, there's some more pictures. <coughs> wow, look at that. How cool is that? Pictures of old things. Great, isn't it? And on this page, Yugoslavia, general knowledge. Young Women's Christian Association, the YMCA. YWCA. <laughs> the Young Women's Christian Association, the YWCA, is the counterpart of the YMCA for the other sex and has the same object. It was formed in 1877. Wow, that's so cool. And out of two organisations founded by Mrs. Roberts, Roberts and Lady Knard, 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 22 years earlier, has many members in all parts of the world and does excellent work that's that that's that, that's what this book has to say about the ywca it does excellent work it does the young men's christian association was founded in 1844 by mr afterwards sir george williams at a meeting of 12 persons Overlooking St Paul's Churchyard. So that's something that we've learned. Today we learned that the YMCA and the YWCA were formed in 1844 and 1877 respectively. That's some knowledge on you. you just been edumacated, bitch. Shooting that knowledge into your brain. Get that shit in your head. That ain't on the news. Maybe I should put Jake Paul in the title. Maybe not. 